would like for you guys to be kind in the comments. Just support the process. I'm so thankful that I have an apartment that is affordable, that has a gym, has parking, has on-site management. And that you have a lot of stuff. I felt some type of way because. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope all is well. This is Teresa M, AKA 50 plus 2013. An update from the apartment. I have been here for a minute. I have not rushed to do anything as far as unpacking. I thought I would be the type of person that will come in here and just set up right away. But I realized the apartment is not speaking to me in the name of pink and gray. So I feel really frustrated because I have all my pink, pink accents and it just doesn't seem to go with the kitchen. The other parts of the apartment, I believe it would be fine. The bathroom I have to kind of tweak. But the kitchen, I'm so irritated. My youngest daughter, she was here recently and she says, no, the pink goes perfectly with the counter. And I was kind of seeing her vision, but me here living here, I just can't see it right now. I want to start out by saying I ended up leaving all the junk in the boxes. You saw when I gave that tour of me leaving, I had predominantly boxes and I'm not going to lie, I'm not a minimalist, I am a maximalist, and I enjoy spending my money on things, things, I guess you can say that I like looking at and decorating with. I have a lot of things slash decorations, I'm a beauty junkie, so I have so many products. Just put it this way, if I'm a, I'm, it's 2024 and I'm pretty sure I don't ever have to buy any lotion, deodorant, for sure no perfumes for a while now. I'm saying the deodorant, I feel like, I, I don't know, we'll just see how long it lasts because I have enough deodorant. But I am a, a product junkie and beauty junkie and I always have been. That's why part of the boxes you've seen, they were boxes of retro magazines. I have a magazine collection that probably if you put it on the floor, it would, stack all the way to my ceiling and this is fashion magazines that I have been collecting since I was probably about some I think I, I started around when I was 17 and 18 I stopped here and there because I didn't have money to buy them and then any chance I got to buy a magazine I bought it I love love still love flipping through magazine fashion magazines but I also did Back then you can have like a 12 month subscription. It would be way cheaper than if you went and bought it in the store. So I have like Essence, Ebony. I even have a couple of Jet magazines. Everybody's not gonna know what I'm talking about. I have magazines that have Whitney Houston, Bobby Brown on the cover of it. I have magazines back, dated back so far where fashion models were only on magazines or rich people. Wait, was it rich people? It started out with just fashion models. They were they were the ones that primarily were on the cover of magazines. And then it migrated into where movie stars were on the cover of magazines. So nowadays, I'm not even sure, just prominent people or people of interest at the moment, they're on magazines now. But you can't even find magazines. And after the pandemic, I guess because you couldn't like go to a studio and be in close encounters with people. You couldn't like do photo shoots and things that, all that type of stuff that's usually in a magazine. So between the pandemic and social media and all kind of other ways to display fashion and advertise products, I think the magazine is extinct or on its way out. But nevertheless, I have collected for years. And granted, if I started while I was 17 and 18 and I'm 64, I have a lot of magazines. What I'm trying to say is, um, I accidentally cut the camera off. I was trying to fix the lighting because I'm sitting in front of the window. So I know it's going in and out. Because it is bright at this window, but it 
is like a semi-cloudy day. So the, in a nutshell, I felt like some people were offended by all the stuff I had, but I guess you can say I really didn't have furniture, but I had stuff. But the thing about it is the magazine collection I've had since started since I was 17, 18 and I'm 64 and I haven't collected magazines since the pandemic, but I still have them. And like I said, the subscription kind of helped me accumulate them. I don't collect anymore. I want to, I would love to, but they're just not there because like I said before, social media gives you everything that you could ever flip through a magazine and find. So basically, I'm gonna be trying to figure out what to do with these magazines. I don't wanna tote them around anywhere. I don't wanna tote them around anymore, I should say. I have been toting these things from California, my childhood neighborhood, to Los Angeles after I was married, to Miami where I lived for two years, from Massachusetts where I lived for 10 years, to Antelope Valley where I lived for a long time, longer than I lived anywhere else. Besides packing around the magazines, I have been packing around my kids' childhood, childhood items and I have slowly been able to force them to take them or get rid of them or by now Brooklyn and Jade they're old enough and they kind of want certain things and even friends my kids friend my my children's friends come over and they'll take things that were my kids at one point and give it to their kids a lot of it's going to be leaving this apartment so I did move in with a lot of stuff but you have to imagine I had three kids and I owned a house that had a garage and then there's a whole story behind that. Someone put my house in their name and it, yeah, if you ever want to hear the story about how I became a homeowner as a single parent with three little kids, it wasn't easy, but the Lord blessed. But then a few years later, how I lost it. And then I ended up moving out of, losing the house. So I lived in a townhouse that had a garage. So I was transferring stuff that were from my kids. You know how like when you when you own a house, if you grew up in your parents' house and how if their house had an attic, your stuff would just migrate to the attic. And then at some point you can go back and visit your childhood belongings. Well, I towed it around my kids' belongings. Then as time went by, I shed it. Shedding is not a, the right word. As time went by, I was able to figure out what to do or how to get rid of some of this excess. Here we are living in an apartment that had a balcony. So the balcony um, allowed storage. So of course I had things out there. Plus, you know, I have all my decor for Christmas and you know, for a few of the holidays. So I have boxes with those things in it or tubs or whatever. But the main thing is I had a lot of boxes and some of you were saying that you have a lot of stuff. I felt some type of way because that's like, well, pack up your house and, and let me see. And you're going to probably have a lot of stuff too. I'm explaining this because it's just what's going on right now. And then to clarify something, some things. So right now I have been slowly taking everything out of the boxes. I'm at the point now where I think everything's out of a box. Is everything out of a box? Now, last night I was able to go through the last two boxes. So I have three boxes of donations so far and and it's building. So what what's happening right now is I'm trying to let the house speak to me. The bed is put together, the bed is made. We have some blackout curtains in the bedroom because a lot of light comes in here. And just where I'm positioned, you have like street lights or parking lights or some kind of lights that keep it well lit even in the night. So I have blackout curtains in the bedroom for that reason. And also when summer come, it will help prevent the heat from coming in as well. So far, I don't have any curtains in the living room because I kind of just like to leave the windows open. That's just how I always been, but I just need bright light and bright rooms. I'm taking my time um, slowly setting up the house. So when I post videos, in the next future regarding the move, you will see like this house in a state that just looks so chaotic. And trust me, it is chaotic. 
but sometimes I work better in chaos as far as getting organized. But I'm just excited about how it's all gonna turn out. But in the meantime, when I um, present videos of the progress, I would like for you guys to be kind in the comments. Just support the process. I'm so thankful that I have an apartment that is affordable, that has a gym, has parking, has on-site management, is clean, easy access to downtown, easy access to my job, around the corner from my church, and I love being in here. It has so many other wonderful characters that I just love, but I'm just struggling with the, the pink, and it's going to be okay because I'm going to figure it out. I've been blabbing a lot, but the point is I've had a lot of stuff because I had three kids and I cherish their memories and I kept some of their stuff from their childhood. And at this point, we are letting go of all of that. So if my kids don't take their childhood stuff home, we are going to find homes for it. Okay. Brooklyn and Jay, well, Bro Jay takes a lot of stuff, but I notice her room is filling up like a hoarder. So I'm going to have to resist letting her take stuff unless she's willing to get rid of stuff or organize how she has stuff. But anyways, I love that my grandkids or granddaughter loves things from my house that were mine when I was around her age. It just pleases me that she just can come in here and just be so happy about things and that she would like to have. And I'm like, yes, you can have it. Now, on the other hand, I've spoken to you about this before, but Brooklyn, she likes the expensive stuff. So if it's expensive perfume, expensive clothes, expensive shoes and um, bags and stuff. That's what she gravitates to. So she does have my Louis Vuitton collection and I'm so happy to pass it on sure. just an update. And I hope you watched to the end and I hope you didn't click through. I also hope that you gave it a thumbs up because this helps the algorithm. And we're just still striving to get my channel to 3K. I realize that my type of video is not everybody's cup of tea because I'm just down to earth, just showing you my true, genuine life. We're not fudging anything. We're not faking anything. I just want to say thank you. There has been a significant amount of new subscribers. And I want to thank you for subscribing and also for leaving a comment. And then I want to just thank everyone else for your constant support. I know there's at least about a hundred faithful people to my channel, give or take. So I appreciate you.